Hello and welcome. This is going to be your Pisces full moon video for September 2020 happening on the 2nd. So the sun is in Virgo and Virgo is a time where we basically have to focus on our health. Remember earlier this year there was a super full moon in Virgo during Pisces season. So now you have to really look at your health. You could feel exhausted, physically just tired, aches and pains, Watch your tummy because your tummy could be very sensitive during this time as well. Feeling a bit nauseous. Um, sleep as well. Not being able to sleep or having very strong dreams because the moon is in Pisces. And Pisces is connected deeply to our intuition. It is a water sign ruled by Neptune and Jupiter. So basically, we can really get in touch with our intuition and have very powerful dreams around this time. But do take note and actually see how you are physically feeling because during Virgo season it's ruled by health it's about our routine it's about the things that we do that can sometimes physically be out of alignment for us and put strain on our bodies and it is an earth sign so it's a good time to pay attention to your physical body and your emotional body Pisces about the emotional connections that you have to your environment and people around you. It is a time that we can feel very drained by listening to people that complain or are too negative or say harsh things to us or put us down as we can feel their energy a lot stronger during a full moon in Pisces. It's a highly intuitive moon and there's a lot of things that we basically need to let go of during this Pisces full moon. So we'll be thinking of things that happened a long, long time ago. Things that hurt us. Things where we basically gave our power away, didn't know our worth. Where we felt emotionally vulnerable and let people in and actually got hurt in the process. So we will be releasing. We will be releasing on an emotional level because it's that time when the full moon is in Pisces to let go of those deep feelings that we keep within our hearts, that hold insecurities within us. So we can't live our best lives. Because if you're always thinking about the person, an ex, or you're thinking about a situation where you were violated or traumatized, or someone spoke bad of you, or gossiped about you, all you're doing is basically feeling these things within yourself and feeling insecure not knowing your worth, wondering if that person who said those things wasn't true, wondering about that ex that broke your heart, you know, where did you give your power away, not showing compassion to yourself and knowing that you are changing, you are growing, you're evolving. And we all do things and later on, we look back and be like, ah, you know, maybe then I didn't know my worth, but now I truly do. So now is the time to basically allow yourself to let go of all those things because Mars is going to go retrograde in September. So when Mars goes into retrograde, more things of the past come up and it's a good time. It's an actual, I feel it's a beautiful blessing to have this Pisces full moon to give us the strength to release those things within ourselves, especially the things we feel emotionally. Our emotions are so important. How we feel, what we feel within ourselves is what we actually act upon. That is what we actually act upon, the, the feelings that we have, whether we feel vulnerable or insecure or hurt or deflated. All of those things are the things that we act upon. And if you feel inspired or positive, those are the things you'll act upon as well. So it's a beautiful full moon to let go of all those things, to really let go of long time past hurts. And the full moon in Pisces, actually makes a beautiful trine to Uranus and Taurus. So you can expect beautiful surprises, unexpected things to pop up as well, especially in alignment and you have been doing the work, you have been letting go of things. And you've been basically, you know, during airy season, which was earlier this year, planting things that you wanted to reap the rewards of in Virgo season. Because Virgo season is where we reap the rewards. Everything that you thought about, what you were deciding upon, what new beginnings you set, is where you actually see it now in Virgo season materializing. So it's so important in Aries season to always, you know, 
plant those ideas so that we can actually see the sprouts of everything in Virgo season. It is the harvest, basically. And it is a good time to really focus on that physical health, emotional health, so that we can fall into alignment spiritually. And that's what's so important during this full moon. It's letting go, releasing. Then also Venus in Cancer will be squaring Mars. And Venus in Cancer will be opposite Saturn. So Venus is a planet of love and it's, you know, obviously in water, Cancer, and Mars is in Aries. So Venus is in a place where Venus wants to feel comfortable. You know, once the things that makes you feel loved, snuggly, cozy, romantic. And that Mars square and that opposition to Saturn in Capricorn is very restrictive. It can be very intense. And you'd probably feel during this full moon when it comes to your relationship, when it comes to your finances as well, because Mars will be squaring Saturn. Mars is in Aries. Saturn's in Capricorn and Mars really is going through this energy of like, what is it that I want? What do I need to let go of? What are the things that have been basically holding me back? You know, it's all this holding back energy and Venus is like, I want the love, but it's really like, where is it though? <laughs> where is it? Because Mars is basically with that squaring energy and there's a lot of conflict, internal conflict, external conflict, restrictions with Saturn. You want what you want, but you might not be able to get it right now. Should you, you know, and Venus is like, but it's soft, it's gentle. And Saturn and Capricorn, it's not, it's harsh. It's, it's control, it's power, it's authority. It's all those things. So during this full moon, as you can see, there's lots of beautiful water energy. And also the full moon in Pisces will be joining Neptune so we can dream we can dream, we can manifest, we can really let go and surrender so we can manifest. We can let go of the things that actually are deepest insecurities during this full moon. And it's very important to do that before Mars actually goes into retrograde in September. So this is that chance to let go, to actually do the deep work. So it can be a beautiful full moon, most definitely with that sextile there. With Uranus and Taurus to the Pisces full moon giving you unexpected blessings but Uranus and Taurus you got to know your worth what is your value how do you value yourself do you love yourself how do you hold yourself and those are important things to ask yourself during the Pisces full moon it really is because Pisces is exalted in Venus it's where love is magical. It's where love sweeps you off your feet and you feel like you're on a cloud floating. Those are the beautiful things. That's what we all want. We all have these, these idea, ideas that we have about love and what we want to create and what we see for our finances as well. Because that Mars energy, really, <laughs> squaring, squaring Saturn is making us feel frustrated. So what I suggest during this full moon is not to lose your patience. It can, because of all that Mars energy, you can lose your patience. You can end up in conflict. You can feel like you're fighting never ending battles. Like you just did this battle. Like I just fought this years ago and now it's here at my doorstep again. So don't lose your patience. Remain calm. Remain in the energy of Pisces you know, of dreaming, of allowing, of surrendering, of letting go, of knowing that you are deserving, of knowing that, you know, yes, things do come to an end. You must remember that Pisces is the 12th zodiac. It's the last zodiac. So it's about knowing that, yes, things do come to an end. Chapters come to an end. But there's always a new beginning. That's what's beautiful about Pisces is that they're always ready to embrace a new beginning. Always. They're the fish that flows. If there's something in that way, they're going to go the other way. <laughs> That's Pisces. It's about listening to your intuition. That's Pisces. It's about feeling so deeply, but also feeling deeply for yourself. It's about being compassionate towards yourself. 
of knowing that you just yeah having an experience and Virgo is the energy of the human experience that's Virgo the human experience and Pisces is the deep spiritual experience so it's almost like looking at things that are physically happening but understanding there's a deeper higher meaning it's definitely a very good full moon to meditate, to get in touch with your intuition, to be creative, to draw, to, to manifest, to really explore yourself. And that's the beautiful thing too about Pisces. They really have this energy about them where they can, you know, just take some time out and actually spend time by themselves doing what makes they, you know, whatever it is that they feel makes them feel happy just enjoying that time, whether it's cooking, whether it's, you know, um, staring out at nature, that's Pisces. It's the dreamer. It's a dreamer that allows us to dream a beautiful dream. To, you know, not get so stuck in the physical and not so, you know, oh, this is how things are. This is how stressful they are. That Virgo energy that can make you very, very anxious because it is ruled by Mercury. Virgo is ruled by Mercury. It can make you think and think and think. You can have a panic attack. Your heart can be racing. <laughs> it can really put you in a state of like, oh my gosh, this is going and that's happening. And how do I control? And how do I maintain, you know, the perfection of everything? And Pisces is like, maybe imperfect is absolutely perfect. It's the vision. And I think that's what we're meant to do with this full moon is to surrender the parts of ourselves that are insecure and doubtful so that we can allow our wishes to come into our life and basically bless us and to move like Pisces does in a different direction, to flow, to allow, to surrender, to just enjoy the moment to enjoy life and that's what we are to do is to enjoy life the ups the downs the hard times the good times because that's what life is it's a beautiful combination and if you think about virgo and if you think about pisces that's exactly what it is virgo the beautiful human experience the you know looking at things physically seeing it in your face you know being critical because if we don't criticize too we're not going to make a change sometimes we got to have a critical eye it gives us a perspective like mm, if i just made that small change i know things will just move in a different way which is pisces the actual physical labor is virgo and pisces is the imagination the inspiration the creativity and also the compassion to allow things to flow so with the sun in virgo and the full moon in pisces which is a beautiful blend of energy now is that time to basically blend both heaven and earth thank you for watching